is going on guys, it is really deep for a few months. Today we are going to talk more about our ADROS which is the JOS for Insulated Terminal. But because we have seven different jewels on the A series, so I have to split it into two parts. So today we're focusing on A, A1, A2, and A3. And today I'm going to bring you how to crimp and how to use our tools step by step and in detail. So let's go. So what I have prepared for you is the four different jewels. Start from A, A1, A2, and A3. And today I'm going to show how to crimp. So let's start with the angels. And the tools we use in today is our new product, which is Night Class Richard Crimper, and also has the interchangeable feature. And before you you crimp, you need your wire, and make sure your wire is fit into the terminals. So if you're using the right wire, right terminals, and right jaws, it's gonna give you a perfect grip. So before that, we need a wire stripper. And make sure it's the same as the back of the front one, so it's the same. So. And now you're using your what? Your tools and put inside. Okay. So once is inside you can put your wire inside like that but don't let it move because once it's moved you are not you are not able to get a good crimp so make sure your terminal is stable one is stable you put inside and you just crimp And you just do a little pull test. So it is for the A Joes. Next, we're moving on to the A1 Joes. So A1 Joes is for the connector. And if you notice that, you see this big heat gun. And it's because it's because the terminals, after you crimp, you also need to heat, heat the round to let it that the wire got the waterproof. So let's start it. So it is what it looks like. And today we're using the blue one. So Sam, before that, you have to know how long you have to strip. So Sam, it is the point you're gonna crimp. So you're gonna strip at the same as the terminal, like here. And if it's too long, it's not a problem because you got the scissors. Cut a little bit down and check it again. Make sure. Is it is the right one? All right, now we all set. <clears throat> and same thing. 
we put our terminal inside first. So here, and the blue one, you put it in the middle of a cream, and you just slightly push it, and now you are good to put your wire inside because the terminal is already stable inside the jaws. And once you put it in the middle, you fill it. Like that. And you just push it. And you just finish the half of it. And the other one, same. So again, you put into the jaws first and make sure it's in the middle. After you check it, yes, it's in the middle. You put your wire inside. And you just scrimp. And we're done, but not done. Because in this side, as you can see at the both side, is is for the heat string. So now you get your heat gun. So we got the big one and small one. And today, yeah, I show you a big one because it's gonna be string very quickly. And make sure you put a little bit distant, otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself. And just slightly turn over to make sure it shrinks in average. Did you see the differences between these two? So this one, you have a string, and this one you is after the after the string, and you got a little bit like glue inside here, as if you can see it, and it is for the waterproof. So let me finish the other side, and we done for this one. And we're done. And you need to give it a little bit time to cool down, so that's why you still can see the wire inside. But after a few minutes, it will be like this side. It's gonna turn to blue. And see, it start to get blue. And it is what A dice for. So the A dice is history box connector. I've been showing you how to print our A series, which. A, A1, A2, and A3. So this is the result we're printing today. So A and this one A1, A2, and A3. So if you got any question on my video, please drop the question below to the comment and I will reply to you as soon as I see. And if you really enjoy my video today, please subscribe, follow, <clears throat> and I will see you next time.